In this video, you're going to learn whether you should choose medicine. That's right. The procedure would kill you. Ah, that car is getting towed. Or dentistry. We could go to Kista. Ah! Hi, my name's Dr. Ashley Hilton. I'm a doctor and a dentist in the UK. And often my students ask me whether they should choose dentistry or medicine as their career. So in this video, I'm going to give you the pros and cons of both medicine and dentistry. And then at the end, I'm gonna show you a very quick technique to decide which is the right career for you. So let's just dive straight in. So I'm gonna go through a few traits and say which are more pros and cons for each of medicine and dentistry. And just before we dive into the pros and cons, I just want to caveat that when I say that a certain aspect is more associated with either medicine or dentistry, that doesn't mean that just because it's stronger in one that is completely not present in the other. So let's start with the pros of medicine. Now, the obvious most glaring one is the fact that you save lives and have the biggest opportunity to have the bigger impact on people's lives. Again, that's not to say that dentistry doesn't have an impact on people's lives but as a doctor you will be thrown into a lot more situations where you are actually carrying out life-saving treatment. A career in medicine in the UK has a lot of rows on the ladder that you have to climb and that means that you are constantly forced to learn and grow therefore embracing lifelong learning in medicine is absolutely essential. One of the things that favours medicine more is that you often are part of a bigger team and medicine is a very sociable job. You are in a hospital where you have to interact with people daily so not just patients patients and colleagues, but all people around the hospital. So it can be really fun and it's quite a nice environment and a very sociable one. Final thing is that medicine has lots of career options. I think it's quoted in the region of 75 specialties that you can choose from. And there is literally a specialty for every personality type. I certainly believe in medicine that birds of a feather flock together and that certain personalities are drawn to certain specialties. So whatever kind of person you are, you can find a specialty that is suited to you. So what are some of the downsides? of medicine? Well, it does demand a lot of your time. I have definitely missed important birthdays and holidays and even had to miss some of my close friends' stag dues due to either work commitments or exams that I had coming up. The NHS is a fantastic institution, but it does come with its frustrations, which is one of the downsides of medicine. Medicine does take a long time to complete your training to specialise in the UK. So that is something that you do need to factor in as it will take a while until you are in the top level of your earning and you are the big boss when you are finding a consultant. And one final thing that in medicine, you do tend to have a lot more disturbing cases. They don't come across very often and it does depend on the specialty that you're in. But once in a while, you will come across some very sad cases, some very upsetting cases. And those do unfortunately stick with you for a long time and take a lot of mental toughness to overcome. So moving on to dentistry, some of the upsides are that you earn a lot more as a dentist early on in your career. Out of dental school, you typically complete a dental foundation training year, which is one year working in an NHS practice. But after that, you can really do whatever you want. You can go into a private practice or continue in an NHS practice, but the potential to earn quite a lot after just one year of graduating is significantly higher than the options of a doctor. Dentistry allows you the opportunity to own your own business in the form of a practice. And that has lots of benefits of being your own boss. It also comes with the downsides of being your own boss, but you can take ownership over your practice and make it your own little baby that you can tweak and mold to be just the way you like it. And that bleeds into the control that you have over your time. If you are your own boss, even if you're not your own boss in dentistry, you do have much more control over the hours that you work. And dentistry is typically a nine to five Monday to Friday job, whereas medicine, even into late in your career, you will have a lot of on calls depending on the specialty that you choose, and it will require you to work weekends and holidays. One of the other things that I liked about dentistry is that as you go through your dental degree, you are are essentially learning to do more and more skills in dentistry with less and less supervision. Although it helps to have what you call an educational supervisor, which is someone to look over you, you are pretty much ready to go as a dentist as soon as you come out of dental school. So what are some of the downsides of dentistry? Well, I think one of them is there is the propensity to get a bit stale and bored in your career and hence have it feel less fulfilling than a career in medicine. But I will caveat that with the fact that I think dentistry provides lots of opportunity and it's kind of a build your own career. And in that sense, it's very similar to being a GP as a doctor. But it's my opinion that you are in charge of your career and it's your responsibility to make it as 
exciting as you can. So if you have got yourself in that position, it is really your fault and a lack of creativity on your behalf. But the good news is there is always something you can do about it, even if you have been in that situation for quite a while. And in that sense, dentistry has less variety available to you than medicine. Like I say, you have those 70 odd specialties in medicine, whereas in dentistry, you're kind of looking at about five to 10. And the final downside of dentistry that I would say more so compared to medicine is that there is a high amount of litigation. So partly because it's private, dentists tend to get sued a lot more than their medical counterparts. And at the moment, we seem to be seeing a knock-on effect from the USA, where dentists in the UK are the highest sued in the world. So after listening to those, you might be thinking now, well, I'm still not sure which one is for me. So I want you to answer the following four questions. So the first question I want you to answer on a scale of one to 10 is how important is money to you? Is earning a lot a, a 10 on your priority list or is it not so important as long as you've got enough to get by? The second question is how autonomous do you want to be over your schedule? So how important is it for you to have control over your work hours, the ability to dictate when you can go to work and change it if you don't like it? The third question I want you to ask yourself is how important is your free time to you? Some people are so passionate about medicine and love helping people and being in that environment and, and the excitement that you get from being in hospital treating patients that actually they don't mind being in work for long hours because they really get fulfillment from what they're doing. The fourth question I want you to ask yourself is how much fulfillment do you want to get out of work? It might seem like a strange question but for some people they are quite happy to accept that work is just somewhere to get money and they get their fulfillment in life from sources outside of work. However that might not be the case for you. Your fulfillment may come from your job so you need to realize whether that is something that's going to matter to you. The final one I want you to put on a scale of one to ten is growth. How important is it for you to keep learning, embrace that constant growth throughout your career? Fantastic, so now that you have a score out of 10 for those five areas, what I want you to do is go back through the video looking at the pros and cons for medicine and dentistry and work out how those values align with each trait for the pros and cons that I've given for each career. And as you go through them, comparing what's important to you, it should be quite clear which one you're leaning more towards. And whichever one you decide, the chances are that you will be applying through the UK system and sitting the UCAT exam. So if you want some guidance on that, you can check out this video here for the application process and this video here for all the stuff you need for UCAT. So thanks for watching and I'll see you over in those videos.